Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Friday. We got six matchups on this NBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Working our way to 20k subs, so keep up the good work there. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Really great promo offers with BetMGM. Bet5, get 150 in bonus bets, guys. Amazing promo, especially if you're low on money. Good way to get that bankroll back. And uh, yeah, so those are in the description. Really good promo offers with all the other books as well. And um, yeah, we'll hop in it. A very light slate today, but we'll be in, you know, in for it for a busy weekend. Starting with the Miami Heat versus the Detroit Pistons. Heat opening up as an eight point road favorite with the over under at 215 and a half. Heat coming into this matchup 35 and 30. Detroit 12 and 53. Head to head Miami 8 and 2 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, I don't see any major injuries here. Miami on a four game losing streak coming off a Denver loss. Detroit on a little two game winning streak coming off a Toronto win. They did lose to Miami by eight in their last meeting. Miami six and one against Detroit, four and one on the road against Detroit. So they've been very good against Detroit here. Uh, the unders hit in six of their last nine games against Miami. So maybe the unders a good play here. Yeah, I just think this is a good spot for Miami. Tough four game stretch they've been on. Um, I think they bounce back against their actually their last win was against Detroit. And uh yeah, I like a big bounce back game for the Heat here. I'm gonna roll with Miami minus eight and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Phoenix Suns versus the Charlotte Hornets. Suns opening up as a ten and a half point road favorite with the over under at two eighteen and a half. Suns coming into this matchup thirty eight and twenty eight. The Hornets seventeen and forty nine. Head-to-head -head Phoenix, 8-2 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings where they've been pretty dominant. Uh, don't see any major injuries here. Phoenix coming off a tough Boston loss yesterday. Charlotte coming off a uh, Memphis win. Phoenix 6-0 against Charlotte. 4-1 covering against Charlotte. The unders hitting Phoenix is 4 of the last 5 on the road against Charlotte, so maybe the unders a good play today. And, um, yeah, I'm liking the Suns' big bounce back. They're on a back-to-back. -back. We'll see if they rest anybody. But, I mean, it's the second half of the season. They really shouldn't be resting anybody. It should be a nice win for the Hornets. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to roll with the Suns' minus 10.5 and, and money line on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Orlando Magic versus the Toronto Raptors. Magic opening up as a 9-point road favorite with the over-under at 217. Magic coming into this matchup 38 and 28. Toronto 23 and 43. Head to head Toronto 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. As far as injuries go, no RJ Barrett. Um, and they're still missing a tons of other guys too. Magic coming off a big Nets win. Toronto. Um, on a five game losing streak. Coming off a Detroit loss. Yeah, it's just been tough for Toronto. With all the injuries, they're just not the same team. And uh, they just aren't playing very well. Uh, Magic, they've had their struggles against Toronto. But currently, they're 6-2 and two covering the spread. 9-3 and three in their last 12. Two teams pretty much trending in different directions here. And I just don't trust the Raptors with all those injuries they have. They've been a mess. Uh, I think I want to roll with the Magic minus 9 and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Clippers versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans opening up as a 7.5 point home favorite with the over-under at 217. Clippers coming into this matchup 42 and 43. The Pelicans 39 and 26. Head-to-head, -head, the Pelicans are 8 and 2 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, the Clippers coming off a Chicago win. Pelicans coming off a Cleveland loss. Uh, James Harden's questionable. Not seeing anything about uh, Kawhi Leonard. So um, be sure to check the injury status here. Clippers, they're 9-2 and two on the road. Very good road team. They're 1-6 against the Pelicans. They've been 
you know, head to head, they have not been good against the Pelicans here. Uh, the unders hit in seven of the last nine games against uh, these two teams. So maybe the under is a good play today. Seven and a half points. I don't know. Seems a little spishy to me. Seems like too much. I think as long as the Clippers have their big three playing, or at least Kawhi and Paul George here, I'm going to take a shot with the Clippers plus seven and a half on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Denver Nuggets versus the San Antonio Spurs. Denver opening up as an 11 point road favorite with the over under at 222. Denver coming into this matchup 46 and 20. The Spurs 14 and 52. Head to head, Denver 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Denver 9 and 1 in the last 10. I mean, they're on a four game winning streak. Denver playing great right now. Spurs 1 and 4 in their last five coming off a Houston loss. Yeah. Um, Denver 10 and 4 against the Spurs. The overs hit in eight of the last nine games on the road for Denver against the Spurs. So I think the over is a good play today. But uh, yeah, for me, hard to bet against the Nuggets. Give me Denver minus 11 and a money line on the road. Then the last matchup, we got the Atlanta Hawks versus the Utah Jazz. Hawks opening up as a two and a half point road favorite with the over under at 223 and a half. Hawks coming into this matchup 29 and 36. The Jazz 28 and 37. Head to head, the Jazz seven and three in the last ten head to head meetings. Uh, as far as injuries, don't see any crazy injuries here. Atlanta on a two game losing streak. I mean, they're coming off a Portland loss. That's about as bad as it gets right there. Jazz two and eight in their last ten, coming off a Boston loss. They have not played well either. They actually lost to the Hawks in their last meeting, one twenty four to ninety seven. Not a good game for. Or the Jazz in that last head-to-head -head meeting. But Atlanta is just 2-6 and six against Utah. 2-5 and five covering against Utah. The Unders hitting 7 of the Hawks last 8 on the road against Utah. So maybe the Unders a good play today. Um, I'm not sold on the Hawks here. I know the Hawks beat them bad last time. I like the Jazz. Late night game. Plus money. At home. Good dog today. Give me the Jazz plus two and a half at home. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.